Jed, thank you for joining us today. We're at the One to One conference in London. Tell us a little bit more about your company. Sure. Uh, we're Trigon Metals. We're a copper, copper development company. We've got two assets. We've got our uh, combat mine, which is a restart of, uh, of a historic asset in Namibia. And then we just recently announced a, an acquisition of Silver Hill, a project we're developing in uh, Morocco. So tell me a little bit more about Silver Hill and the, the scale of it. Sure, it's a 16 kilometer square uh, con concession that we've got. Uh, we're really excited about uh, Morocco is a place with a fantastic mining history, but very little modern exploration. Uh, We've built a strong relationship with a couple of Moroccan geologists, and we're happy to bring this project to, project to the market. Uh, on the property, we've got three structures, the first of which is we've been able to trace for five kilometers, and we're getting grab samples uh, in the range of 250 grams per ton to 750 grams per ton silver, with 2% uh, to 10% copper. Uh, pretty exciting stuff. So it's very exciting. Yeah. So the next six to 12 months, what are you looking to achieve milestones wise? Well, well now we're moving on a couple of fronts. Uh, we, we're combat in Namibia is still the core of our business. And what we're working on is ways to move this project into production. Uh, we've got a great asset down there. Uh, it would, from, the, from the time that we have our capital in place, it could be six to nine months for us to be producing there. So we want to be in a position come March where we can be where we can make a decision how we're going to move that project forward and get that asset into production. Meanwhile, we want to be consolidating some land, doing drilling some holes, and uh, and really showing the real potential of Silver Hill in Morocco. So obviously we're at the One to One Mining Conference in London. Sure. How's that been for you? You know, this is a good conference. A lot of investor interest. Uh, really seems to be a lot of appreciation that. Copper is in a unique place that uh, we're seeing uh, new demand for copper for uh, all of these battery metals and for these green technologies. But also we've seen supply uh, curtailed uh, with the closure of, my, of some of the world's largest mines, uh, with reduced production out of uh, Latin America. And I think there seems to be a feeling on the floor that copper is going to have its day, and we're we're in a great place to. Great, great place to, to uh, profit from that. Super. Well, Jed, thank you for your time today. Okay, thank you.